Hello everyone, I am Professor Aves Ahmed Husseini, working as Assistant Professor in the Mechanical Engineering Department at Sharjah Institute of Technology, College of Engineering, Yadra. In this video, we will discuss overview of compressors. So, these are the basic concepts or contents which is come under that air compressors. Now, we already discussed various applications of the compressor or compressed air. So the mostly in case of the automotive application like in uh, tires as well as in suspension system as well as in brake system that compressed air is most important. Then also in case of the supercharging of the IC engine similar way uh, some kind of the driving uh, or in uh, mining pools that compressed air is necessary. Also that compressed air is mostly used in the blast furnace similar way in supercharging of the IC engine. Similar way, in case of that uh, spray painting application or tightening of the screws, rivets, such kind of the things which can be operated by that compressed air. So these are the basic uh, applications of the compressed air. Also, the most important thing is in gas turbine also, compressed air is mostly used. So this is the classification of the compressor. This is the positive displacement compressor and non-positive that is dynamic compressor. Further that uh, positive displacement compressor are two types reciprocating and rotary. Similar way that dynamic compressor are two types centrifugal and axial. Reciprocating are also there There are uh, total uh, two types mainly which is in syllabus that is first is single acting. Second one is double acting and rotary are again uh, divided into four types loop, screw, ring type, scroll type and bend type. So these are the basic classification of the compressor. Now what is exactly that positive displacement compressor? In this particular uh, kind of the compressor, uh, air is trapped between the two set of the engaging surface and the change in pressure is either by backflow of the air or both by squeezing action and backflow of the air. So this is the main uh, feature of the positive displacement compressor. Uh, the compressor like reciprocating, root lower, vent type and screw compressor is come under that positive displacement compressor. But in case of the non-positive compressor, the main speciality is the kinetic energy is imparted to the air by multi-bladed rotors and then it is converted into pressure energy by slowing down the velocity. So this is the main basic principle and velocity is increased by reducing pressure with the help of the diffuser. So this is the main important thing in case of the non-positive compressor. So best, best example is that centrifugal compressor and axial compressor. So these are the commander uh, hydrodynamic compressor which is most used in case of the industrial applications. So this is the construction and working of the single stage compressor. This commander positive displacement compressor. The working is very simple. There are total uh, two strokes. In first stroke there is a suction stroke is there and uh, the second stroke is that discharge stroke and uh, compression that is uh, most important stroke. So here in first stroke suction is takes place and in second stroke compression and delivery is takes place. So in case of the single acting or single stage compressor when the piston moves from TDC to BDC means from top dead center to bottom dead center with the help when the crank rotates definitely the piston uh, moves from TDC to BDC. Okay. So this is the most important thing and uh, as soon as the piston uh, moves from TDC to BDC the fresh air from the atmosphere come inside and air is trapped in, the, in that particular passage and uh, when the piston reach at the lowest position then suction stroke is completed again crank rotates continuously at that time the piston moves from BDC to TDC ok so here uh, from piston is moved from uh, bottom side to top side at that time whatever the air is trapped on the above side of the piston it gets compressed and it gets uh, piston exit the force from that, that particular air air is compressed and high pressure air moves out and it is uh, moves uh, from the delivery uh, section and it is stored in the reservoir for further application. So this is the basic simple uh, construction and working of the single stage reciprocating compressor. So this is a working animation of uh, or GIF of the single stage reciprocating air compressor. Here you get idea about the moment of the piston from TDC to BDC and from BDC to uh, TDC uh, as far as that crank rotation is to be concerned. Now this is the two stage compressor, the two stage is most important because uh, the single uh, with the help of that single stage it is possible definitely to raise the pressure but uh, simultaneously there are so many limitations like uh, the size of the compressor is increases, similar way the tremendous amount of the heat is generated, lubrication fails, 
then seal gets damages and performance of that compressor goes on reduces in order to avoid that the multi switching is most important thing and it is a good option so here compression is uh, bifurcate in the two uh, different types of the compressor uh, one is that low pressure side compressor and uh, another one is that high pressure side compressor definitely pressure in the high pressure side is more as compared with the low pressure side compressor okay so working is same as that of the single stage compressor for air from the atmospheric come inside from that in uh, inlet stroke at that time the piston moves from tdc to bdc uh, and uh, when a crank rotates again uh, then piston moves from bdc to tdc at that time it takes that a force on it and high pressurized air is enters in the intercooler so what is exactly that intercooler this is main interesting question so the main function of the intercooler is to keeping uh, that particular pressure constant and reducing the temperature why it is necessary to reduce the temperature because high temperature uh, air when enters in the second stage it affect on the performance as well as it affect on the seals so and uh, lubrication also there is a chances of the failing so in order to avoid that the intercooler is used the intercooler is just a one kind of the heat exchanger sometimes that water is continuously uh, circulated uh, through that particular area as well as sometimes that the air cooled that is fins are uh, used in order uh, to better heat transfer enhancement so generally that water is continuously circ uh, circulated for better result then whatever the uh, high pressure temperature and uh, air is uh, whatever the power coming from the first so lower stage of the compressor when it is inserted in the intercooler uh, it come in contact with that water uh, outlet indirectly so it is a one kind of the heat exchanger where ex exchange of the heat is takes place from hot fluid to cold fluid or from cold fluid to hot fluid so in this particular case uh, the temperature uh, goes on uh, reduces by the keeping pressure constant then uh, that same pressure is inserted in the second uh, stage of the high pressure side uh, compressor and further that uh, piston moves from tdc to bdc at that time suction is complete uh, for the second stage and when crank rotates again the piston moves from bdc to tdc at that time a very high pressure air as compared with this particular situation is moves out and it's stored in the reservoir for further application so this is a two stage compressor so this is the pv diagram of the two stage compressor uh, now we will discuss that uh, uh, rotary compressor but before that there are uh, basically three efficiencies which is uh, very essential while solving the numericals the first efficiency is mechanical efficiency so mechanical efficiency is nothing but the ratio of the indicated power to the brake power and that brake power is calculated by using simple formula 2 pi into by 60000 when you want answer in kilowatt so the mechanical efficiency is simply the ratio of the indicated power to the brake power so this is the first efficiency of the compressor the second one is that isothermal efficiency the main formula of that isothermal efficiency of the compressor is the ratio of isothermal work input to the actual work input and third important uh, formula of the uh, efficiency is that volumetric efficiency so volumetric efficiency is the ratio of shift uh, effective shift volume to the shift volume and here that clearance ratio is the one important factor uh, which is very essential while calculating that shift volume the clearance ratio is the but clearance volume to the shift volume these are the two important formulas are uh, very essential while solving the numerical of the compressor and our next lecture will be on uh, numericals on single stage and multi stage reciprocating air compressor keep in mind that so we want these basic formulas first is that mechanical efficiency second one is that isothermal efficiency and third one is volumetric efficiency similar way we need work done of uh, various compression like uh, work done for isothermal work done for uh, i uh, that isentropic as well as work done for polytropic generally in our problem we follow the uh, isothermal as well as polytropic compression so now we will move further and the next uh, type of the classify according to the classification of the compressor is that rotary compressor okay so again there are two types positive displacement compressor and non positive displacement uh, compressor the best example of the rotary compressor is a root blower compressor so it consists of uh, two uh, roots so this is the root 1 this is the root 2 so you can say it as the driver so this is the one uh, driver uh, root this is a driven root okay so driver is always connected to the motor and when driver rotate 
the driven is also rotated with it with the same speed but in opposite direction so keep in mind that the another name of that root blower compressor is that lobe type compressor minimum two lobe or root are used or maximum three lobe or root are uh, used that lobe or root is nothing but simply blades okay and air here the main in uh, main uh, feature is the air is trapped in the passage of this uh, casing and that root so in this way the compression takes place so what happened when the driver lobe or driver root rotate with the high speed with the help of the motor the driven is also rotated with it with the same speed but in opposite direction okay so that's why we create a section in the section or in that inlet portion so in this particular case what will happen the air is continuously moves out so from is in this particular direction it, it is trapped here so these are the some pockets here you will get idea these are the pockets these are the pockets where air is continuously trapped so air is trapped in between that casing and uh, uh, that roots very less clearance is there here you will get idea about very less clearance is maintained uh, in order to passing that air okay so that um, root exert a force on that particular air and high pressurized air is moves out from that particular uh, discharge line and it is enters in the receiver so here you will get idea about so this is a single stage root blower compressor but here you will get idea about the multi stage uh, that root blower compressor where and that uh, number of the root blower compressors are arranged in a series in order to achieve the high uh, pressure at the end as well as high discharge at the end so continuously the pressure goes on increases when the, the air is passes through the various set uh, of the root blower compressor which is arranged in the series so this is a working of that root blower or uh, that particular compressor lobe type of the compressor here you will get idea about such a kind of the compressor are uh, uh, just uh, uh, similar with that uh, root or lobe kind of the pump as well so working is same but here only in case of the compressor the working fluid is different keep in mind that okay so the next important uh, rotary type of the compressor is that vent blower compressor so here uh, there is a one eccentric rotor is there so this is the eccentric rotor okay so this is the eccentric rotor so and on that particular eccentric rotor the slots are provided there. so this is slot this is again slot this is again slot so number of the slots are provided minimum 7 to maximum 11 slots are to be provided on uh, to that eccentric rotor so uh, when uh, that the uh, no, most important thing is that that eccentric rotor is connected to the electrical motor okay when that electrical motor rotates means that shaft rotate that eccentric rotor is continuously rotated with the very high speed okay and it create a suction in that particular suction line and because of that air is uh, come in contact with the this particular uh, surface of the blade and the casing and air is trapped in between uh, vents and casing and uh, in that particular slot the spring loaded vents are uh, placed so the main purpose of that vents is to allow the compression and extension action when it moves continuously uh, from uh, clockwise direction or in anti-clockwise direction okay so this is a simple working of the uh, vent type compressor it just uh, consists of one eccentric rotor which is mounted on the shaft of the electrical motor and it rotates with the high speed and that eccentric rotor uh, consists of various slots on in that slot the uh, spring loaded vents are placed in order to allow that compression and extension and uh, when that rotor rotates eccentric rotor rotates the blades are also continuously rotated with it and uh, it exerts a suction force in the suction line and finally high pressurized uh, or that air is trapped in this particular passage or these are the some uh, area where air is trapped these are the pockets air is trapped in between that vents and casing and uh, high pressurized air is moves out so now we will discuss that rotodynamic compressor that rotodynamic compressor are two types the first is that centrifugal compressor and second one is axial flow compressor so this is a very simple type of the centrifugal compressor it consists of that impeller along with the blades similar way that diffuser is there so this is the diffuser 
diffuser is placed in between that casing and uh, impeller so this is the diffuser and this is the casing and this is the portion through which the air is enters inside so this is you can say it as eye of the impeller and this is the delivery line okay so how it works so this is interesting question it works on the principle of the centrifugal action why the name of the centrifugal action is given we will discuss now okay so whatever the air is uh, air from the atmosphere uh, when it is come in contact uh, through that uh, eye of the impeller and when it uh, uh, thrown uh, or that uh, blowing on the impeller that impeller exert a force on that air and uh, that air is thrown away by that impeller uh, because of that centrifugal action so that's why the name is given this uh, compressor is works on that centrifugal force so it is very simple okay so what will happen the impeller is mounted on the shaft of the electrical motor keep in mind that first of all okay so what is the main function of the compressor the main function of the compressor is to create high pressure air okay so that particular shaft of the impeller is uh, mounted over the uh, that particular shaft of the electrical motor when the impeller is mounted on the shaft of the electrical motor when electrical motor rotates or that it when the electrical motor operates the shaft is rotated and when the shaft is continuously rotated with the high speed that impeller is also rotated with a very high speed okay so uh, because of that it create a suction through that particular uh, eye of the impeller and air is come in contact with that uh, blades of the impeller and that blade thrown away that air outside because of the centrifugal force where that particular uh, kinetic energy and pressure energy is increases because of that impeller action and further when the, the same air from that impeller when come in contact with that diffuser blades diffuser is a stationary blade keep in mind that so where the energy conversion takes place uh, from uh, kinetic energy to pressure energy where velocity goes and reduces and pressure energy is increases so this is the main function of the diffuser the main function of the diffuser is to convert that kinetic energy into pressure energy or to increase the pressure energy okay and after that whatever the high pressurized air from that uh, which is passing from that diffuser uh, it is come in contact with that casing area and we are designed the casing in such a manner that the area of the cross section is minimum at inlet and it is maximum at outlet and what what is the reason behind it the reason behind it is uh, to allow uh, that air with the high pressure when that air is enters from the diffuser to that uh, particular area of the casing of the volute or vertex kind of the casing of the centrifugal compressor so the uh, energy conversion again takes place and high pressurized air we will get at the end as compared with uh, the previous case so this is the main function of the casing we are designing a casing in such a way that the area of the cross section is continuously increases and finally we will get that high pressurized air at the end so this is all about that centrifugal compressor now we will discuss uh, how that uh, axial flow compressor work so most important thing of that uh, axial flow compressor is uh, that electrical motor uh, and their shaft and the shaft of that electrical motor is connected with a rotating drum okay so that rotating drum is the first part of the uh, axial flow compressor second important part is that rotor blades that rotating drum is attached with that uh, continuously a number of the blades these are the rotor blades which is fixed to the rotating drum and they are continuously rotated along with that rot uh, rotation mo motion of that rotating drum and the next is uh, third important component is that casing uh, and uh, the casing is uh, cons casing consists of the fixed kind of the blade okay so these are the fourth component the fifth component is suction line and sixth component is that uh, delivery section okay so how it works this is very interesting so now uh, when the electrical motor works that uh, shaft rotates with a very high speed the rotating drum is also rotated with a very high speed and the when rotating drum rotates the uh, that particular blades uh, which is attached to the rotating drum this is ro moving blades this is rotor blades which is continuously rotated along with it okay so what happened after that it exert a force okay and it create a suction in the frontal area the frontal area is uh, more as compared with uh, that uh, discharge line so it create uh, it allows maximum quantity of the air because of the that suction creation and high uh, that atmospheric air from the uh, atmosphere uh, is come in contact with the, the 
casing part that is most important part that is stationary blade as well as mo mo that rotor blade or movable blade and that particular air is continuously passes through the alternative arrangement of the fixed blade and moving blade and fixed blade and moving blade and fixed blade and moving blade in this way the air is continuously moves out and finally high pressure air moves out okay once again i repeat when electrical motor operates that uh, rotor uh, rotating drum is also rotated with it and along with uh, its uh, moving blade moving blade is also rotated with the high speed because of the rotation of the uh, drum because of the work because of the working of the electrical motor shaft and after that it creates a suction uh, suction in the frontal area and uh, <coughs> air is from the atmosphere come inside and it is come in contact and it is trapped in this particular section or alternative arrangement of the fixed and moving blade uh, because of that the whirling action takes place and high pressurized air moves out so this is the basic construction and working of the axial flow compressor uh, this is the main uh, difference between centrifugal and axial compressor so the size the required is a small and here is a large so mass flow rate is uh, uh, generally below 15 kg per second and uh, very large as compared with that centrifugal the efficiency is more in case of the axial but where uh, it is less in case of the centrifugal so number of the stages required is very less in case of the centrifugal where in case of the axial compressor the number of the stages required is more so similar way the pressure ratio per stage is high in case of the centrifugal but it is less in case of the uh, axial and it is less than 1.5 pressure losses is more in case of the centrifugal type of the compressor but it is low in case of the axial flow compressor fixing and manufacturing uh, cost means installation cost and manufacturing cost is uh, uh, that uh, easy in case or uh, less in case of the centrifugal compressor but it is more in case of the axial compressor so cost is cheap wider operating range and it is very uh, expensive in case of the axial but it is very less expensive in case of the centrifugal compressor so students this is all are about various uh, types of the uh, compressor in a glance thank you